according to mainstream science, humans like us first came into existence about 200,000 years ago. And they would say before that there were no humans like us present on Earth. There were only more primitive ape-like mm -hmm. human ancestors. But when I looked into the whole history of archaeology, I found many reports of discoveries of human bones, human artifacts, mm. and human footprints many millions of years old. Now you're not going to find these things mentioned in today's textbooks because of what I call a process of knowledge filtration that mm. operates in the world of science. Mm. If you've got a dominant theory then reports of evidence that conform to that theory will pass through this knowledge filter and you'll see such things mentioned in textbooks. Mm -hmm. But if you've got evidence that radically contradicts the dominant theory, it tends to be filtered out. So some of the evidence that I've found include discoveries like the California gold mine discoveries during the 19th century, gold was discovered in California and miners went there to get the gold. Right. They were digging tunnels into the sides of mountains like Table Mountain in the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California near the town of Sonora. Mm -hmm. And deep inside these tunnels, the miners were finding human bones and human artifacts. They were finding stone mortars and pestles, mm. obsidian spear points, things like that, in layers of rock that modern geologists tell us are about 50 million years old. Mm. So th these human bones and human artifacts were initially reported to the scientific world by Dr. J.D. Whitney who was the chief government geologist of California. His report was published by Harvard University in the year 1880. But we don't read about these things in the textbooks today because of the process of knowledge filtration. There are hundreds of discoveries of human bones, human artifacts, and human footprints that contradict the current dominant theories of human origins, mm -hmm. but they're all sort of swept under the rug or dismissed or forgotten or put aside. I think because of that, we're not getting a complete set of facts mm -hmm. upon which to base our understanding of these important questions like the origin of civilization, the origin of our human species. Mm -hmm.